This is a video demonstration on how to practice song number five on page nine. It's titled The Piano Man. The first thing you want to do before you practice a song is look at the time signature. The time signature is located at the beginning of the piece and here you see the number 4-4. Four, four. You also see it on all of these pages, 4-4, four, 4-4, four, 4-4. Four, 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 four. The top number 4 indicates how many beats are in a measure or in a bar. What is a measure or a bar? The measure or bar is the way to organize the music on the music staff and it's organized by these vertical lines that you see right in here. So from here, the first note to the first vertical line, that's the first bar or first measure. Then from here to here is the second, this is the third measure, and then you end with the fourth measure. So again, there's four beats in one measure, and then the four underneath it here means that the quarter note gets one beat. Okay, so whenever you see a four on the bottom, that means quarter note gets one beat. Now I will explain that further later on. So first, before we get, our, get out our instruments, we're going to learn how to clap and count it out loud. So the first bar, you see three quarter notes, these black circles indicated by the, a stem going down. Those are all quarter notes, so it's one beat each. So let's count this. We're going to clap the quarter notes as you see it. So you have three quarter notes followed by this sign, which is a quarter rest. When you have a rest, you're going to open your hands like this rather than actually clapping it. So the first bar will go like this. One, two, three, four. Second bar is the exact same thing. One, two, three, four. The third bar is a little tricky. You have a quarter note on the first beat followed by two quarter rests on the second beat, third beat, and then you have a quarter note on the fourth beat. So here we go. Bar number three or measure number three. One, two, three, four. Or it's one, rest, rest, four. And then the fourth bar is the same exact thing as bar one and two. So let's clap and count the entire thing. And for practice, I want to make sure you're actually clapping and counting out loud. So from the beginning to the end, here we go. I'm going to just count four beats uh, to get us started. One, two, three, four. 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 Now that we know where to draw our bows and then where to rest, let's get our violins out. And we're going to hold our violins properly. I'm gonna push this back a little bit. Put your thumb here at the neck and the body and then your fingers will go here. Make sure your left arm is away from your body. You have a nice curve here. And get your bow hold, the basic bow hold going like this. Here we go. Set your bow, the frog part on E string. This is no E. So here we go, starting with three long quarter notes. One, two, three, four. 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 And you're done. So each quarter note is going to be a down bow or an up bow. One more time from the beginning to the end. Let's take this a little bit more slower. Again, my thumb is right here. My hands are here. Nice position of your left arm. Bow hole looks like this. Pinky's through here and the pinky's here. Rest your bow on the E string at the frog. Let's take it very slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we're going to freeze here and then put down our violins. So I hope this is helpful in counting and clapping as well as playing the E strings. Please practice counting and clapping for all, all pieces that you learn so that we can collectively uh, be in time and rhythm.